In this video, my friends, we're going to be showing you step number two on preparing that hole for drywall. My friends, I'm not a part in this video that I want to show you uh, on preparing the outside edge. And as you can tell, I have this side scraped, this side scraped, and this side scraped. So basically what I do, my friends, I take the bottle and I uh, spray that on there and uh, I let it soak. And then I uh, come along and scrape it. I've uh, saturated this several times my friends and so it's uh, um, basically ready to scrape and as you can tell it's kind of making a mess back my ladder up just a little bit here okay one of the things that I wanted to show you my friends is uh, you can tell uh, if it's ready for drywall or not you run your scraper over it, and you don't hear any spots, so listen to this. And then listen to this. See, there's no, there's not, none of that popcorn um, texture on this side. But over here, it's rough, so it's gonna make that rough sound. Back here in this area, it's, it's almost ready. There's a little spot right there that's rough, so put a little bit of spray water on there. And then uh, I wanna hit this area over here again, and then this area back here again with the water. So whenever you're uh, fixing a uh, popcorn texture ceiling, first of all, you gotta make sure there's no asbestos in it, and anything before 1976, it could have asbestos in it. This home was built in uh, 2020, so uh, not 2020, but uh, um, 2000. So in the year of 2000, so this home is 20 years old. So I know that there's no asbestos in my uh, home anywhere. Okay, so I want to have everything not make that rough sound. So I'm gonna keep scraping it with the water saturated into it until it's uh, smooth. And then where the edges are, you just want to very, very loosely uh, um, knock those down. So I'm gonna, when I blend my popcorn texture back, I'm gonna blend back into the area where I've done. So see how easy that goes because I uh, sprayed it down with water first you want to really saturate your area so i want to put some more water right here and i want to feather this out just a little bit more because i want probably a good six inches so when i'm doing my drywall mud i'm going to do a uh, wide knife to the point that i'm almost into the popcorn texture when i mud it out that's important, uh, probably more important uh, um, when doing a ceiling because you look up, you're going to see every flaw, every detail. And that's why I'm doing steps on this video so you can see the steps. See, now that area there is almost smooth. But this area over here, you can tell is rough. Hear the difference? From rough to thin, from rough to smooth. I want the smooth look because I got to pass over that with drywall mud, and I don't want my drywall mud to pick up any of those divots in there. Just going around it to make sure that it's almost ready to go.
you don't want to saturate your ceiling too much where you're actually pulling off the paper of the drywall. There's a, a paint uh, uh, primer under there, but I am pulling off a little bit of that paper, but that's okay because I'm going to let it uh, dry completely before I uh, um, do my uh, drywall work. I'll probably let it dry a couple days. All right, my friends, I basically have this to the point of having it all removed, okay? So now there's a couple of areas uh, on there that uh, um, I need to trim back. So in order to put drywall up in there, I need to have at least a three quarter inch uh, area all the way around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it an eyeball to make sure that uh, I have that uh, three quarter inch gap and if not, I'm going to take and uh, use my uh, drummer tool to do that. So let me uh, bring up the drummer tool and I'm just going to eyeball this because I've been doing this for many, many, many years. But if you're doing this yourself, you might want to put up a straight edge and, and straight edge your line. So uh, I'll be right back uh, with the drummer tool and we're going to prep this, get it ready for insulation and drywall. And then I got to get a different uh, uh, junction box for this. Like I said, we're gonna plug in our Christmas tree lights there. Well, my friends, uh, for the sake of the, uh, the sheetrock dust falling on the camera um, lens and not wanting you to have to look through a cloud of dust, I've already cut uh, three sides. I'm gonna cut this uh, final side right here on camera, but I'm going to mute the sound from this point until I'm done, because I don't want you to hear the loudness of the of the tool that I'm using so um, enjoy listening to the music I'll turn the music up a little loud while I get this out and then I'll come back and talk to you again here in a minute friends uh, you can see a little bit of the dust that fell off of there so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this piece out with my tool here my friends we've got uh, plenty of uh, board to nail to notice my friends when I uh, was cutting this I was holding this back towards me at an angle I did the same thing uh, on here it's because I have a cathedral ceiling and so when I put this in here I have to have that angle so then it uh, will lay correctly in there so that's uh, it for uh, step number two and step number three my friends uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this box taken care of we're gonna insulate this and then we're gonna put a piece of sheetrock on there that's gonna be in uh, step three coming right up <music> 